Hey guys, it's Eric with LeatherSeats.com. In today's tech tip video, we're gonna be going over some advanced techniques used to achieve optimal fitment in an aftermarket leather interior installation. All right guys, before we jump in, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Dean over at Sabre Cabinets. He was instrumental in helping us design the cabinet system that you see behind me here in the new installation studio. You can check out his website at sabrecabinets.com. Our installers just finished recovering these S550 Mustang buckets, and even though the upholstery kit fits pretty well, there's definitely some room for improvement. Some of the techniques we'll be using today are highly advanced and are only recommended for use by an experienced installation technician or an upholstery professional. The fitment you're seeing here is probably considered to be about average for a DIY installation, and if we were to set these bucket seats in the direct summer sun for a few hours, we would see significant further improvement. Rather than waiting on the sun though, I'm going to use a combination of a commercial steamer and a heat gun to accelerate the process. There are three main methods for using these tools to improve fitment. The first is to use the steamer to apply heat to the facing of both the leather and the vinyl during installation. We recommend this method even for the average DIY install as it heats the materials very slowly and safely, making them much easier to work and massage as they're being fitted. The second technique is a little bit more aggressive. It requires that I apply steam between the factory seat foam and the new upholstery. Of course, most automotive upholstery kits come with a scrim foam on both the backing of the leather and the vinyl. The scrim foam is fully permeable and so the steam can still penetrate through the foam into the suede side of the leather. Applying steam to the back of the upholstery allows the heat to penetrate the suede side of the leather, which causes the operating temperature of the leather to rise much faster. This also allows the leather and vinyl to reach higher core temperatures, which make them easier to massage and work into an optimal fitting position. This third technique, which is applying heat to the facing of the leather using the heat gun, is by far the most advanced and dangerous. We don't recommend anyone trying this approach that doesn't have extensive experience working with leather upholstery. Automotive leather is extremely durable and can endure fairly high surface temperatures, but most vinyls can be permanently damaged at much lower temperatures. So we don't recommend using a heat gun on any sections of the upholstery kit that are vinyl. Now, as you can see, I was really careful about applying heat to the leather side only. I even angled the heat gun so that the heat would stay away from the vinyl as much as possible. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when you apply too much heat with a heat gun to vinyl. This Mustang interior was ordered in our deluxe leather content, which means the full seating surface of both front buckets is real leather. The sides and the backs are matching vinyl. I can use the heat gun on almost all of the seating surface areas, but I need to be very careful as I approach the vinyl sides. I'm gonna start with using the steamer, and then I'll move on to the heat gun as needed.
All right, guys, we got the front bucket seats knocked out. As you can see, I was able to use a combination of the commercial steamer and the heat gun to significantly improve fitment. I'm going to move on to the rear seats now. One thing to remember is this is a deluxe leather content kit. That means the front seats have full leather seating surfaces with vinyl sides and backs, but the rear seats have leather inserts only. The rest of the seating surface and the sides are all vinyl. I'm not even going to touch the rear seats with the heat gun. It's going to be steam only from the front side and a little bit on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and get these bucket seats back in the vehicle, but we'll be back to show you the finished interior.